Hello, today we're going to learn how to use shapes in Cedro. In the material step, you can find the shape menu. You can use it to complete wall elements, for example, or to customize the terrain. Shapes can be customized using any coding available within the material step. In this example, we're going to create beams. Here, for that, you can click on Q and place it down on the ground floor. Please note, click on the collisions icon displayed here to adjust the size and the angle of the shape without being bothered by the wall or products around. At the end, you will have to check this option again to avoid any visual defects. You need to adjust the shape dimensions in the right panel to get the desired shape. Note that in each subcategory, like here, next to dimensions, you can find this arrow to reset your changes. After you customize the dimensions, you can change the elevation and the horizontal rotation of the shape in the right panel or by using a direct action on the shape. Also, by clicking on the purple arrow, you can elevate the shape and using the orange arrow, you can rotate your shape. To be sure the shape is aligned with other shapes or walls, don't hesitate to use the top view option. Now we are going to see the other rotation axis. When you have a shape like this, you can activate the advanced rotation option directly in your shape or in the right panel. Three new rotation axes will appear. Similar to the elevation and horizontal rotation, you can adopt it in the right column with more precision or directly on the axis appearing on the shape. Please note that if you copy the shape, you will keep the same axis rotation. To finish your work, you can choose your covering in the catalog using the search bar or by using the duplicate covering option. And finally, don't hesitate to save time by using the application Global Assistant. That's it. Now is your turn. You can contact us if you have any questions. The support team is always available to help.